All right, we have some exciting news today. The 2024 Time Kid of the Year is from our area. 15 year old scientist Heyman Bekela from Fairfax, Virginia has been recognized for developing an affordable compound based soap that could help treat skin cancers. Mm -hmm. And Heyman joins us now right here on Great Day Washington. Hi. Thank you for being here. Hi, thank you so much for having me. And congratulations. Thank you. What's it been like? How did you get the news that you were going to be the Time Kid of the Year? <laughs> That's a great question. I think I first heard about it a little after I did the original shoot. I originally thought that this was all just going to be for a small story, but then a little bit after that, they kind of broke the news over email that uh, we've decided to switch this small story into a cover story. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now your face is plastered yeah. all over Time Magazine. That's wow. pretty awesome. But it's been a couple exciting years for you mm -hmm. since you started developing this new scientific technology. What? How did you come across this? How did this all come to be? Yeah, so I think to start from the very beginning, my original inspiration came because I was born and raised in Ethiopia. And I saw so many people that worked really long hours under the hot sun. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, when I was younger, I didn't think much of it, but now I realize how big of a problem UV radiation really is. And so that's what really inspired me to take action. Since then, I originally came up with the idea. I pitched it to a competition called the 3M Young Scientist Challenge and ended up winning. From there, I started doing some research at Johns Hopkins where my team and I tested the bar of soap on mice. And now we're here, so, so awesome. it's been a long what, journey. What does the bar of soap do? So people use it, right, to help protect themselves from the sun? Yeah, so the okay. bar of soap is meant to be this uh, affordable and accessible alternative to skin cancer treatment where mm. you put the bar of soap on your skin and then over a couple of weeks you should slowly start to see some improvement. Wow. So is it to help pre help to prevent after sun exposure or even if you've already gotten That's skin a good cancer? question. When I started off, I was hoping to make it preventative, but okay. now it after doing some tests, it can actually treat early treated. stages. Yeah. That's amazing. So that makes it so hey. much more affordable oh, for yeah. people. And we talk so much about skincare. <laughs> like, but you're 15 years <laughs> old and you're already doing all of this. How, did you know, like, how did you know that you're this brilliant? Uh, <laughs> you just have been trying since you what, got a science kit at seven yeah, years old? It's been so many years in the making. I mean, wow. I guess it started just from that initial curiosity at a very young age with mm -hmm. things like the science kit, and it's slowly grown to now. I just, I love science. I really love what I do. and. I, I, I never think of it as work or anything yeah. like that. Wow. You've said in articles that you credit your parents and your family yeah. for their support. How have they supported you and encouraged you? Oh, yeah. And I, that's, that's the big one, right. encouragement, you know. Mm -hmm. My mom works as a special education teacher for Fairfax County and my dad works as a human resource officer. So neither of them are really in the STEM field, but their support, their encouragement, their mm -hmm. guidance, their advice, because s what I do is a lot of science, but also a lot of other aspects, such as breaking down a problem, the problem solving, the process. Mm -hmm. And my parents yeah. have always been there to help me throughout all of that. And so I really appreciate it. That's Even presenting it so we understand. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know we right. don't understand what you're actually doing in the lab, but I get it when you tell us. Right. How do you balance this? You're also back to school in your sophomore year of high school, but you're in the lab working after school. How are you doing all of it? So I tried to pack in most of the research for Johns Hopkins over this past summer. Okay. And I was working some pretty, I, about eight hours every day, Monday through Friday at Baltimore at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Now that school has started up, uh, luckily we gathered all of the data over the summer. So I can do things more from home in my own pace, things like uh, okay. computational and more virtual. And so I can knock that out after school and then really focus on my studies during the school day. Okay. And you still be a kid, see. right? Yeah. I mean, you're in the band, you play basketball, like you're a well-rounded <laughs> type of kid. But I love that you get to do all of that. So yeah. is that, obviously something like this takes a while oh, yeah. to get FDA approval. So what's mm -hmm. next? That's a good question. Um, so for now, what I'm really focusing on is slowly moving towards that big goal of FDA certification. Mm -hmm. uh, so this summer I did some work. Hopefully I'll do some more work next summer. Okay. And what, what we would really hope to do in the very, very long future goal would be to turn skin cancer treating soap into more of a nonprofit where we mm -hmm. can provide equitable, oh, accessible skin cancer care it. to people who need it. I mean, you're incredible. Hey, man, you're awesome. You're just incredible. That's why you've been Kristen's kudos so many times on our show. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming in in person. To learn more about the 2024 Time Kid of the Year, please visit time.com.